Is your home theater simply a corner of the lounge with a 72 centimeter TV, surround sound, and DVD player? Or do you want your investment to treble the value of your home? Engineer Gary Collison has done them all. Just looking at these plans, it looks like quite a complicated process. Where does one start? If you start in the beginning and you're building a home, get your architect to involve an expert to the environment of audio, to build the room relative to the environment you're trying to create. The whole point is to transport yourself. Total comfort, seamless storage, and yes, anything the guy next door doesn't have. Is there an ideal space for a home theater system? What we find is a rectangular room is a better solution. Rectangular is inclined to have less dead spots than a more square room. The image is being projected from the back of the room onto the screen, but what exactly is this made out of and what size should it be? When you look at a screen, you always need to define the edge. Once you've got your edge, this particular screen is a tension screen, so you don't have any sag within the fabric, allowing the contrast to reflect back at you. You can get screens from two and a half thousand rand right up to 50,000 rand. Oh, that's pretty good. This is one and a half times the width of the screen back. You can take in the whole screen without having to play tennis. You're not moving your head, you're moving your eyes to be able to take in. What you're also finding is you're not getting pixelation on the screen. Little dots, you're seeing a complete color. Remember that this is an experiment. Systems often sound different at home to how they sound in store. I love watching movies at night. How do I ensure that I don't wake up my family and the neighbors for that matter? <laughs> Bass is inclined to travel a lot more because it's a much bigger sine wave. That is the sound that travels through the walls, through the houses. What you do in a situation like that when it does get too boomy, you can use a bass trap. The sound wave is trapped within a bass trap. With speakers mounted at optimum height, you also don't want those big moments in the movie sounding more like an elephant trumpeting beneath you. Gary, okay, you don't mind if I open these chips and it's a little bit peckish. Yeah? Those aren't actually chips. What we do with those, those are polystyrene fillers. It stops reverberation within the base of the chair. This may be a box too far, but experts can optimize your listening experience relative to where you're sitting by using a sound pressure gauge. It's set up relative to the positions of the head. And this item here, you want to hang a TV on the wall. One needs to ensure that you've got a bigger conduit in the wall to allow for high definition. Perfect example is a 32 millimeter conduit to your TV. And the corners? We're running speakers throughout the home. Nobody wants to see wires. Perfect way to hide wires is behind a piece of corners. It's like air travel. Economy gets you there, but business class is so much nicer. Business is great, but then you get to wondering what it's like in first. Where does it ever stop? Try designer color schemes, classic black and whites, or framed posters for your home.